Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are sort of finally going to be able to not talk about Bright for like two seconds. Today we're going to do dank memes from Site19, uh, where I go over some memes I saw on the dank memes from Site19 subreddit that I found particularly entertaining. Uh, we're going to start with one uh, that's included because uh, it's about one of my SCPs. A random passerby is seeing Benjamin Franklin about to crash down on them. <laughs> I, uh, I don't it, I don't know how to talk about uh, 3313 on a YouTube channel. It's probably one of my more... Ad I mean, it's not that adult. It just involves a, a thing. Uh specifically Benjamin Franklin's, um, it's sort of a play on how Benjamin Franklin was known to be a bit of a womanizer when he was in France and elsewhere, um, to create, you know what, it's, it's a funny story, you should go read it, I'm not going to talk about it on here, but I am going to thank Fravash1 for making the meme, uh, <laughs> just, just go read it, it's fine. Uh, he who shall not be named, Dr. Elias Shaw. Um, there were a lot, and uh, thank you, handsome Gengar, for your meme. There were a lot of bright memes in this batch of uh, of the, me the memes that Yasi sent me here. And I, I just picked one to react to, because while it is, like, important that we talk about this. Uh, it doesn't have to monopolize our thoughts and prayers for the next six months. Um, but yeah, no, Elias Shaw. I mean, apparently there's some work being done behind the scenes that I don't know about uh, to create some more of a baseline for who Dr. Elias Shaw is. I was going to write some stuff until, well, one, um, I found out about even more details with regards to Bright that, uh, uh, well, not more, like, more concrete and detailed stuff that I already knew existed. I got the details, let's put it that way. Kind of details that don't go into a video. And uh, it kind of turned me off to the whole, like, I just uh, got a little, ugh. And so, uh, I'll just let other people who are writing or planning to write do their thing if they want to. Um, yeah. But Dr. Elias Shaw is happening, bitches. Ethics committee members, when they have to allow unethical practices because the continued containment of the anomaly necessitates it. Uh, this is a shoulder meme. Back to having shoulder memes. Yay! Now, um... Uh, <laughs> So the thing with the ethics committee, I don't, I mean, they're supposed to agonize, but I don't think they cry about it. Um, the problem with the ethics committee is they're often portrayed as even colder than the SCP Foundation itself, but like, they're cold, but with morals. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, the ethics committee is not exactly free of sin. Let's put it that way. That's the, that actually. That's a good point to make about the ethics committee. They're always they're almost portrayed Mary Sue like in a lot of situations when it comes to the containment. Right? They're the ones that are morally correct, always morally correct. I mean, there's a couple of canons where that's maybe necessarily not true, um, and it kind of makes them a lot less interesting. Like that's the reason why. I'm, I mean, I touch on it in stories here and there, uh, but I don't really go into a lot of detail as to what uh, Dr. Sumerian's ethics committee work entails outside of, like, you know, paperwork and how he hates paperwork and hates making these decisions. Of course, he, you know, that, that's true, too. But, yeah, no, a lot of what uh, Dr. Sumerian does is outside the realm of his uh, job, which, um, you know, maybe that's something I should work on. Maybe we should do, like, an ethics committee series. Content farm claiming the reaction video. Person filming a reaction to a USCP YouTube video. The share alike in CCBYSA 3.0. Um, there were some comments on this meme. <clears throat> By the way, this is another shoulder meme. There were some comments on this meme of, who did this happen to? And I don't know. I just remember it happened. It was me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. 
<laughs> Look, um, it was infographics. Uh, cl- it was infographics, right? I don't want to make a, make a mistake on that. Um, but yeah, I got claimed, but it got released. So you guys, you guys keep the pitchforks uh, at bay for the moment. Um, yeah, it got released, so it, it, it turned out not to be. It turned out to be a nothing burger, but there was a moment where I was like, "Am I gonna have to fight a bitch?" It's <laughs> shoulder again. Um, you're the GOC politely saying hello to Reality Bender. Yeah, GOC does tend to shoot first and ask questions later. They, um, I, I, I've never particularly enjoyed the sort of classic, uh, version of the GOC where they do this kind of thing, uh, because it's so one note, it makes it boring, you know? But it is true in most of the canonical representations. Even in the good canonical representations, they're definitely a little trigger happy, for sure. Uh, this is a zeal meme. We did it. We time traveled. But to what year? Let me ask that guy over there. How long has the foundation existed? Two years. I have no idea. Yeah, because, yeah, and there is no canon. So this is related to the idea that there is no canon. Uh, but the foundation existed for... Just, any number of years, depending on which uh, canonical represent. In fact, it's one. That's one of the more variable parts of the "quote unquote" general canon. There is no general canon, but there are a set of commonly accepted uh, pieces of information about the SCP universe, like that there are SCPs, that there is a foundation. So even though there is no canon, there are a sort of common set of things. But though even those things are. Um, not absolute, and there are stories where those two things that I just said, which seem like they're the basis of the entire universe, aren't true. Um, but yeah, no, uh, the problem with there is no canon is that people just have had a lot of trouble getting their f- heads around it, and this has uh, come up very recently. I wrote a story uh, for SCP Illustrated, where uh, SCP-035 and SCP-106, or yeah, it's 106, uh, the old man and the and the mask um, were brothers, and uh, all all these other things. And people were like, that's not true. SCP-035 is a is is an it's from Alagada. It's really really old. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? What what are you t- who what? What are you talking about? That's not absolute. There's no absolutes. 035 is not from Alagata. And by the way, 035 existed long. I was there. I was there when these words were written. Not 035, but Alagata. I was there before Alagata existed. Listen, man, if you want 035 to be of Alagata, that's great. I'm sure that's a great interpretation. I don't think I've read much on that topic, but that's a great interpretation. You have lots of fun with that. But um, fuck off if you say that that's the absolute truth about 035. I have opinions. I have opinions. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian. Pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday. I promise.